Tomorrow marks one year since tragedy hit the halls at Butler High School. A student shot and killed 16 year old Bobby McKeithen. For the first time, Bobby's father allowed cameras into his home and sat down to talk exclusively with Allison Lottis about forgiveness, mm -hmm. school safety, and life without his son. October is an extremely difficult month for the McKeithen family. It marks the moment they welcomed Bobby into the world and the unexpected violent way he left it. Every time I see that picture, it always makes me think good, you know. He just enjoying being Bobby. McKeithen's father, also named Bobby, describes his son's spirit as mild, laid back, relaxed. What do you miss most about Bobby? You know what, the, the most thing I miss about him, he will always take the effort to call. October 29th, 2018, McKeithen got an unexpected call about a shooting at Butler High School, Bobby's school. She was like, oh my God, you know, Bobby got shot, Bobby got shot. I said, Bobby got shot, what are you talking about? As McKeithen and rushed to like, Charlotte from his home in Newburn, other worried parents rushed the school campus in Matthews, demanding to know if their kids were safe. 16 year old Bobby was the only victim. When I hit your own front porch, it's like a whole different thing. It's a whole different feeling. It's still them nights where I can't sleep. It's still them nights I cry. It's still them nights that I even pick up my phone and sometimes hit his number by mistake. Police say the shooting stemmed from an off campus fight. Today, Bobby's classmate, 17 year old Jatuan Cuffey, is serving a little more than six and a half years in jail. He reached a deal with prosecutors, pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter. Were you satisfied with the outcome? To be honest, no. But I will tell you this, I don't feel like there is no justice for death. And now you got two families this morning. You got two families that's lost somebody. Do you forgive him? Yes. I had to learn how to forgive him the day it happened. Because had I not, I would probably still be in some deep dark space. He and his family have forgiven but cannot forget. Neither can the students and staff at Butler High or the Charlotte Mecklenburg School District, which has enhanced school safety efforts. Since Bobby's death, the district has implemented random wanding of students, backpack searches, cameras, and more communication. What do you think about all of the changes the district has made? I want the education for both parents and children, you know? Like, this situation could have been eliminated. Every day, McKeithen and his family struggle with heartache. I can find myself just looking at this picture sometimes and I can just cry. But together, they celebrate Bobby's memory and happier moments when he was here. Bobby McKeithen's death has changed the way his father parents. He told me he's much more protective of his other children now and finds himself worrying about them constantly. The family refuses to acknowledge the anniversary of Bobby's death, which is tomorrow, but they did celebrate October 10th, which would have been Bobby's 17th birthday. Scott. All right, Allison, thank you. Just such a hard thing for a parent to have to go through, but looking toward his birthday, not the anniversary of the day that he lost his life, yeah. a positive way to try it's to It's a loss many of us can't deal. even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It was a teacher work day uh, today at Butler High School. We know though some staff spent the day preparing for students to come back tomorrow. The school says they spent the past year healing and supporting each other, while students mm -hmm. have also spent time modeling kindness and respect for others.